Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I have a fabulous fun time with these gorgeous new lawn fawn goodies. Something you might not know about me is that in my day job I'm a teacher librarian so bookmarks hold a special place in my heart and because I'm a teacher librarian at a primary school the children do love their bookmarks and we've got prep to year six children so four years old to 12 years old and they do love to get special bookmarks to use in their books and I'm often making little bookmarks for the children so today I've actually managed to make 60 which was quite a good effort and I'm sure they'll be well loved I'm not going to show you the whole uh, production of the 60 but I started off colouring these first four with Copic markers and I'm just showing you the colours uh, on the screen so you'll know what I'm using. First of all I used the cool greys for this little fellow and he turned out quite grey and then I used the warm greys next for the other little bear to get a totally different look. So I will list the colours that I'm using each time so you'll know and then further on in the process you'll see me using the dies that coordinate with these gorgeous little stamps. The stamps themselves are called For You Dear and then the dies that accompany them, there are two sets, there's the set that makes the bookmarks, For You Dear add-ons they are called, and then there's the ones that cut out the deer and bear shapes. So you will see me using them later in the video. I'll just take a break from all the talk and let you enjoy the colouring process and I'll be back with more later.
So there I have my first four little bears, Copic coloured, well not bears, but bears and deers. And I'm just pulling out there the dies that will cut these shapes exactly. And they will then be added to the bookmarks that you'll see me grab out soon. So I've used my tin snips to cut the little dies apart. Then it's just a matter of positioning them and then running them through my big shot before I can then join all the little pieces together. Right, so the next stage in the process is to pick my cardstock colours that my bookmarks are going to be cut from. So I've chosen a couple of leftover paper tray ink colours and as you can see I've cut a deer and a bear out of the pink and doing the same with the blue. It's then a matter of using my craft knife here to cut along those little stitched marks or lines you see there and what I do then is fold back that little portion of the animal to sit into that spot. Then I can add a teeny bit of glue at the back to hold it in place and some more of the liquid adhesive on the front and he's not going anywhere nice and secure. Don't you just love their little backsides? <laughs> so <laughs> sticking their little tushies in place too and continuing the process with the little bear and you get quicker and quicker as you go once I got the idea of folding that little tab bit behind and then and then pushing it through to the little part I'd cut. As you can see, I started to get on a roll and I'm coordinating scrap bits of card with patterned paper bears and deers and I've had an absolute ball here, managing to make 60 all together, using up lots of scraps and I'm very happy with the end results.